Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? It's your boy, The Ghetto Ogre, a.k.a. Pastor Tech, coming back at you with another unboxing video. And today, we're going to be unboxing this right here. This is the LCD Open Ear YYK Q16 Pro Open Ear Bluetooth Headset. Now, this right now, the Pro will cost you $39.99, and the normal one will cost you $29.99. Got this on Amazon. And I know you wonder, why did you get something like this? Because I got tired of this type of thing coming on my feed, and everybody saying, well, you know, you can get rid of your, uh, you can get rid of your, your Beats, and you can get rid of your iPods, or just throw them away, because these are the wave of the future. So I said, look, let me go ahead and hurry up and get me something like it um, so I can see if this is the wave of the future or not. And if you want to throw away your stuff, don't look, send it to me. I'll put my P.O. box down there. You can send it to me, and I'll make good use of it. So let's go ahead and get into the, um, the details. As you know what this thing can do. Okay, this is, this is well, the seller is K-E-S-I-E-M-E. Say that again, K-E-S-I-E-M-E. -E -E. And it's open ear, 5.4 Bluetooth, intelligent touchscreen, open ear, um, headphones, um, 50 hour playtime, er ergonomic, ear hook, built-in mic, LED display, charging case, sport, um, sport over earphones for running and fitness. Again, the Pro, these will cost you $39.99. If you get the regular ones, they'll be $29.99. Okay, let's go ahead and see anything else. Okay, let's read a little bit of this. It says, true open ear headphones. Our wireless headphones, Bluetooth, uh, adopt a complete open design. The earbuds can be gently and firmly placed on top of the ear. Open ear earbuds are typically lighter and more breathable than in-ear headphones, making them more comfortable to wear for extended periods of time. Okay, it says uh, wireless Bluetooth 5.4. The open headphone wireless Bluetooth uses the latest technology, the four, I mean 5.4 um, Bluetooth version, open ear wireless connection allows you to get rid of wire, wire confusion, fast connecting speed, stable signal, and to ensure that the music will not be disconnected. When you exercise, connection ring up to 33 feet. Supports connection with Bluetooth enabled devices such as mobile phones, computer, etc. Um, feel the premium sound. Our open ear wireless headphone solve the issue of sound leakage, allowing you to enjoy professional grade audio while also protecting your privacy. Now, now when, they, when they say professional grade, you ain't getting professional grade at $39.99. Okay, you're not going to do it. Uh, also protecting your privacy. Um, the sport over ear headphones have a dual 15.2 millimeter air conduction dynamic drivers, which clear sound, powerful volume, stereo sound features, the best listening experience. With Chris Call, with Chris Call, you may call Chris Calls on here. 48 hour playtime and a digital display on a case and light weight comfortable fit before we get into the eagle eye view do me a favor please like share and subscribe i'll say that one more time please like share and subscribe the more thumbs up we get the the more you know we get into the youtube algorithm the more people can find this unboxing community that we have I want to thank my new current current and new subscriber for rock with your boy without further ado let's get into the eagle eye view all right here we go this is how it looks. So unboxing, decent on the wise on backwards. I mean, well, the covers on backwards, you see. But let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. Just unboxing night for today. That up, so I won't hurt myself. Alright. Uh, they say this is the silver. So we'll see if it's the silver. So 
quick guide. Don't throw, don't throw your stuff away. Guy. So this is the silver. Put that up. We have another. We have the user manual. Right, there we go. We got the go right there. USB A to USB C. So there you go. That's good. Decent. So let's go ahead and get to the main. This is the silver. These are huge, guys. Oh, I like that, though. I do like that. All right. So while we go through that, I'll give you the date. Okay, you got the, here you got everything in here. You got different times. So you can change, okay, I like that. So I don't know which one we had it on. Let's go with that. No, I don't want that. So you can play, a, play your song. Okay, so there you go, that's how that looks. So why don't we just go ahead and take that off. Okay, so you can, now this is big, guys. This is big. Hold on. All right, guys, look at this. Now, I want you to look how this is. So, this is huge now. Now, we're going to test out how much it weighs and everything. I just want you to see the comparison on this thing. Now, understand that we do have a touch screen. Okay, so we can do that too. You go down, you have some other stuff on here. All right, calls and all that good stuff. But look how big that is. That's huge. All right, let's get let's open it up. See how this is. okay. Now this is how it looks on the inside. So you can do a lot of thing with the case. This is how it looks right here. Okay. All right. Okay. I can hear it clicking. All right. So there you go. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get them weighed, see how much they weigh compared to some other ones. Um, get it charged up, get it paired up, listen to some music, and maybe make a call and not order. All right, let's get to it. Now we're going to go ahead and do the sound beats, see how much they weigh. Usually they're 45 grams, okay? Now we're going to go ahead with this right here. You can see. They weigh 87 grams. Now, normally what I don't do, I don't. So what we're going to do, we're going to take these out, see how much the earbuds themselves weigh without the case. And, you, and you're looking at nine grams, the earbuds without the case. So we're going to take these off. And then we're going to go ahead, this over here. And we're going to go ahead and weigh earbuds without the case. So you can see. Uh, 16. So, like I said, again, they're, they're supposed to be lightweight. And I'm not saying they're not, but as you can see, in every other metric, <laughs> they weigh more. But we'll see how, how the fit and fit is. So, all right, guys, let's move on. All right, let's see how it looks when it's charging up. We're going to use the wire that came with it. So, we're going to go ahead and try. There you go. That's how it looks. So we got 17 minutes and 59 seconds for it to be fully charged. Okay. So now let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna take this off. We're gonna use this one here. This is a cane with then we're gonna use a C to C. See how that do it. So this is an adaptive fast charge. Let's see if it changed. Okay, what's going on with this? Right, let's try that again. Maybe I touched something. Our idea touched something. Touch again. All right, so we got that. So you see it works. All right, let's go to a C to C. I'm going to C to C. Use this first there. Let's not touch the screen real quick. Now, who do we go? There we go. 
All right, so there we go. We got that. So, so, it, so you see how it looks charged up? Let me open it up. You can see that red one. They're trying to, they're trying to connect. So they connect as soon as you open them up. They connect. That's pretty decent. So there you go. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get it. Let's go ahead and let's pair it up. Now nah, we're going, we're going to look at it before we pair it up. Scratch that. All right, guys. I said we're going to go ahead and look at some things before we pair it up. Now. I'm going to tell you something. The touchscreen, as far as on the actual case, is okay. But to me, I'd rather have an app. Because that means in order to change something, to do something, I have to take this out of my pocket or take it out of my bag and keep it on me so I can go ahead and do what needs to be done. You know, you can answer a call, call history contacts, SOS from the case. And don't get me wrong, you know, if it was maybe a couple of years ago, well, five, maybe six years ago, this would have been something that I could have said I would have loved. But when everything is on the phone, that means I don't have to take this out and have to use it, guys. So don't get me wrong, I love the way they're innovating, but I think this could have been, all this could have been done in an app. Um, unless they had a way to, now some of them do come with where you can actually put an SD, SD card inside and have it play music from there. So let's go here. So now it works like any touch screen on Android, um, maybe Apple as well. And you can see how you push it down. You get all these, so you can make a call. You can, you can do, now these are sound effects. You can go, you can go, you can do personalization, you can go normal, you can go rock, you can go jazz, you can go classical, and you can go ballad. And we, we're going to hit the normal. So we'll go back out. So then. I gotta get I gotta get used to this. Go down, you get this. So then you have you hit that you have system menu display theme password. So you can actually put a password on here as well. QR code. Sorry guys, QR code display system menu. So I'm not gonna go through all the self-explanatory. Come back out. I guess that's the QR code. Let's see if we can go ahead and see. We scan that. Does it give us take it to an app because I didn't see an app for it but this might take it to us take it to an app I'd rather have an app you have music you can control your music your volume and all that play and pause okay, let's just see okay even if you go there you can hold that down and you have different type of watch faces um I had this one up a little while a little while ago and you see the animation so it's pretty decent. I mean, it's it's a good novelty thing. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's like I would have rather had an app to be able to do all that because how how many of us want to walk around with this in our hand? You know, and the touch screen is okay. It's, it's, it's doable. So if you go over, I think that's left. Yeah, if you go over to the left, let's see if we can do this again. You go down, you get that. You go over to the left, you get that. So this gets music, sound effects, key settings. I'm sorry, guys. Let's do that again. Music, sound effects, key settings, AI voice, mode select, GPS, find my phone, timer, cycle tracking, stopwatch, calendar, telephone. You know, so you have all this stuff that you can do. Now, I'm going to tell you, half of us are not going to do it. Sound effects, that takes us right back to where we were. So we have key settings, AI voice. Tap to start. I don't even know. We're not going to even do that because I don't even know what that does at the moment. So I will have to go through all this and find out. But as you can see, you know, to me, is an is is a is a novelty. Is it's not it's not something that I might use. Now some people might use it, but I'm not going to take this out of my bag or my pocket and keep it in my hand every time I need to use it. Now maybe around the house, maybe, but maybe not. So we go from there, go from, yeah, all that. 
Then you go over one more from the right going this way. You have your control your music. And then you got the sound effects. And then you got open the app and connect. So there, uh, please open the app and connect. So there is an app. So we are going to get the app, see what type of app that is. And then you have the timer. So you have a lot of stuff that you can do with this. But again, you know, personalization. Again, don't get me wrong. I like it. I think it's decent. But how many of us are going to use it? Now, for $39.99, it's pretty good. It comes with a lot of functionality, but I'd rather see most of this functionality in the app and most of the stuff we're not going to use. Um, I don't see nobody holding this in their hand and changing the music, even on um, the bus or even on the train or even at their job. Normally people pick up their phones and they'll go ahead and do it. Um, go ahead and change the music and things like that. Or they'll use the earbuds to tap forward, pause, play, because you know you don't want to bring their phone out. So I think this is kind of, if it was maybe seven years ago, five years ago, maybe this would have been, oh my God, but now it's like a uh, little too little. I mean, a little too little, a little too late for me. So I right, let's go ahead and, and, and get this thing paired up. Now guys, I gotta show you something before we get this, um, before we get this, you know, so what I did was, let's see if I can get this. I pulled this down and I hit the QR code, right? There you go, QR code. Now, when you do the QR code, we're going to hit this and we're going to hit it. So now this is what it brings up. Now, I don't trust none of this, but you see it has uh, Huawei. We have that app store. We have local download. And I'm not downloading nothing. So when I go to Google Play Store, this is what I get. So I don't know. This is more of a fit fitness thing. I'm not downloading it because if you can see, it got you know it's not doing good in the uh, review, and because it's it's not controlling, it look like it's more controlling the you know different things, messages, push. Uh, but I don't know if I want to do that because I don't know. So we're not gonna do that. So I just want to let you know before we get into you know doing what we gotta do. All right. All right, guys, here we go. You see, Google, I'm going to open this up and see if it just go ahead. We're going to see new devices. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. As you can see, it's right there. So we're going to hit that. Then we're going to hit pair. And there it goes. It is paired up, assess. And we're going to say allow. So now wants to push the messages and everything. And again, I'm not going to use the app because I don't want the app. So we're just going to take them off right now. I don't know what type of app it is. Put that right there. So now we're going to go into see how this change. Okay. So we're going to see how this change a little bit. Sorry, guys. Let's see if we hit messages. Please open at what? At, ah, that means I might have to get the app, guys. I don't want to get the app. Oh, uh, so okay. I'm going to do it for y'all, guys. I'm going to do it for y'all. Let's go ahead and get the app. All right, guys. I downloaded the app. And I don't see. It just give me a bunch of. Okay, allow, okay. Allow for right now. I don't want no, I don't want to log in. See, this is the thing. I got to log in. I don't feel like logging in. One more settings. Uh, allow, okay. So it's having problems with communicating. And I don't feel like, see, it's telling me I have to, all these ads. So it, tell, it gives me this EQ settings. So it does everything it's supposed to do, right, left, app, and all that. We'll go back. Uh, device, messages push. Okay, we did that. That's all on. So let's go back and see if we give us the messages on here. I'm not going to make a login. Now it's connected. 
Let's go to messages. It says no, no, it says no notifications. So this is basically, again, telephone. So we can go to call history, no record. So we can dial. So that works. This is, I think this is bygone technology. It could have been at a later date. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to see music. All right. So this is everything. Again, I'm a, I'm going to go ahead and um, undo the app because I don't think I need the app. But so it did do what it's supposed to do as far as um, um, pairing up. So why don't we go ahead and do what we got to do, listen to some music, make a phone call, and um, give my grades and give, give it a grade and give my final thoughts. All right, guys, I thought we could use a change of scenery. It's outside. It's a beautiful day, as you can see. So we're going to make a call using these today. So before we make the call, we'll go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and put them on. This is the left ear. And so the way it goes on, guys, I'm going to get this myself. It goes on, put this, uh, the small part, the shiny piece facing outside with the inner workings, as you can see. And then we're going to put it, slide it in the back, and then fix one like this. Like that. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and do the other one. Same way. So it's on. Now, this is how it looks. It goes on just like that. So it feels a little bit funnier because you are actually, it's on top of you. It's not in your ear. So let's go ahead and get a shake test. So as you can see, I'm shaking the whole car. Wow. As you can see, it's in there. So let's go ahead and make this call. Let's see. Go ahead and make this call. Make sure we connect it, guys. Okay, it says connected. It'll tell you it's connected. All right, so let's go ahead and make a call. Now we're gonna go ahead and <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and uh call somebody. I know it'd be it'd be rough. Well, not rough, but tell you know they they they're rough on them. We call them. All right. Yo, what's up, baby boy? This is your boy, the ghetto Ogfer. Caught on a brand new open ear design headset. Um, how do I sound? This don't go in your ear. It goes old, kind of over your ear. It's not, you know, how does it sound? I'm in my car. I, I don't have a car on enough like that. How does it sound? So if you give it for, he says, now horrible. He said a three and a half. Um, out of five. So he gave a four on it. Okay, so he said a four on it. Okay, thank you. Okay. So it basically, sounds like a um a speakerphone, more of a speakerphone type of thing. A little bit better than speakerphone, but still, you could you could tell I'm in the room. You could you could hear the the the, the wind or the noise or the empty air in the uh, background. Okay, thank you very much, man. You have a good day. All right. So you heard what he said. He said he did hear the, the airy noise. Hey, I'm about to roll down the window because it's getting hot in here. Um, he said that he did hear the um like the open air. Now I did um call another another friend of mine when I was in the 7-Eleven and he said that he can hear it sound again sound like I was on the speakerphone and he said he could hear everything around me so um which is cool now one thing you can do on here on this right here I don't think you can see it because it's the 
um, you can um, make a call. So I'm gonna go ahead. And I'm gonna dial. I'm gonna dial a number on here. Let's see, call my wife. I, I didn't get right. I got a call coming, so you see I can I can take the call. So I'm gonna hit it on here. Hello, hold on. This is your boy the ghettoographer. How do I sound on these brand new open ear 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 um um Bluetooth earbuds? How do I sound? From one to five. What do you give it real quick? So this is my daughter. She said she gives it about a four, three to four. Can you tell that? Does it sound? Does it sound like a? Can you hear the like the air in the background? Does it sound like more of a speakerphone? Right. Uh huh. Okay, she says it's not crystal clear. She, oh, she used the word, my daughter used the word crispy. She said, my voice is not crispy. She can hear everything because I got the windows open. She can hear everything else around. All right. All right, well, thank you very much for helping me out. You have a good day, daughter. All right, bye-bye. So my daughter, okay, so now you can see you can you can, you can can call and answer from here. Well, we're going to get all into that in my final, um, my final thoughts. So my daughter said it sounds just like... Um, my main man said, he said it sounds, he give it between a three and a four, four and a half. He said he can tell it sounds better than a, you know, speakerphone, but you could tell that I'm in, the, I'm in open room. So my daughter said the same thing, but she used the word, she said, my voice is not as crispy. So guys, now before we get into the regular view, I didn't, I listen to music, but I can't listen to music, you know, because since it's open ear. The louder you get, your microphone picks it up. Try to do a video, and they kind of, you know, flag your video and say, "Well, you got other people' music on there." So, um, so when we get into my final thoughts, I'll let you know about the music and how it sound. So let's get into that. Let's get into my final thoughts. Giving this puppy a grade. See you in a minute. Yo, I'm back, everybody, to give my final thoughts and give the LCD open ear Bluetooth earbuds. The YYK Q16 Pro and the seller, the manufacturer is K E S I E M E. Um, giving my final thoughts and giving it a grade. And guys, you know, the way I'm gonna start this off is this they are better than I thought, but not as good as the people who tells you to buy these say they are. And that is the, the grades I give, you'll see why. But they're not as bad as I thought they're gonna be, but they're nowhere near as great as, you know, when I saw all the infomercials and all the people opening them and saying how great they are, throw away your, your AirPods, throw away your Beats. No, don't do none of that. Keep them handy. Um, there are some things that this is good for, but there's a lot of things that is bad with. Now, before I start giving my grade, I'm gonna tell you something. Having the LCD on the screen, is a um okay thing um but i'm gonna tell you this it works the music work you can make a call from here even the messages came through um but i will tell you i wouldn't download the app first of all i don't know what information the app is in the back um and things of that nature and to be honest with you the novelty of having a screen will wear off because this is made for when we had before the smartphone era, when you had your flip phone and and when things were about to go into the smartphone era, this would have been perfect for that. 
where you can control everything on the screen. But since you use your phone and you do everything from your phone, this is redundant. This is maybe 15, I would say 15 to 10 years too late with this innovation, as they call it. I call it just a gimmick. And after a while, the gimmick, it's okay. I got to read some of my messages, but I can just as easily pick up my phone and look at it. And the touch screen on here is okay, but it's it's fidgety. When I was trying to dial out, when, when you saw me dial out in the car, I had misdialed, and I know I hit the right, I hit the right, um, I did hit the right, um, you know, digit to make to get the call to go through, but it just did not, um, it did not, it did not go well. Um, I did answer a call with it that worked pretty well. You can't change your track and all that, so. The gimmick of this having a screen and you can use your screen, it'll, it'll fade out. Um, so I'm going to tell you, don't get it for the gimmick. I would rather for them had not put a screen up and put some active noise cancellation, something that will make the calls clearer, something that will make, you know, um, make this better in the music department and things of that nature. So I think the screen is a waste of time. Nice gimmick, waste of time. So the thing uh, we're gonna go with, we're gonna go with Fit first. This is a budget pair. Um, this is a budget. It's only thirty nine ninety nine for the pros and twenty nine ninety nine for the for the regular edition. So if you need something like this, I would say go ahead and get the pros. Only ten dollars extra, but that's before after you see what I have to say about it. Now the Fit, I love the Fit, guys. Um, when it goes on the ear. It, it literally goes on nice. Um, and I'm giving the fit a four because I went to um, went to bed last night and I said, well, I'm, 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 I'm going to see how these go. I'm going to listen to some music. I'm going to listen to some music while I go to sleep. And guys, it didn't bother me. Um, I start off with both, both and listen to some music. My ears are getting tired. Uh, my ears did not get um, tired and get no ear fatigue in the, on here. It's not pressing against your ear. And I slept on it. And even though I slept on each, either side, I took one out and slept with one in, um, in this ear and the other ear. And I was laying on it and never fell out, never came out. And it it did pretty well. So I give the fit a four. Um, they're very comfortable. Very comfortable. Um, I give the fit a four, especially if you like to listen to music when you go to sleep. Perfect for that. Um, now, this is the thing, though. The and we're going to get into the music part, but the reason why I couldn't do listen to music while, while you view me listen to music, because this is an open ear design. You turn up the volume past a certain amount. People can hear what you're listening to. My wife was next to me. I turned it down, you know. So where it, I can still hear, it, but Rolo, she said no. But as I got up to the mid level, she said, "Yeah, I can hear it." So I'm letting you know now. If you in a quiet room or you next to somebody, they're going to hear. If you turn it all the way up, they're going to hear what you're what you're playing. So understand that it's not going in your ear. You don't have that that seal is is there, and and the sound does leak out for people to hear what you're saying. So the sound leak is um, if you get it above a half or just at half. They can't hear you. If you get it below the half, and you can still hear it, is um, it's pretty, it's pretty decent. So, um, fit and fin. I mean, um, not fit. I mean, finish and design. I give it a two, guys. I don't like how bulky this thing is. Look how big this is compared to the sound piece. Now, I would rather this been half the size with no screen, but you know, noise cancellation, something that was going to make you, you know, make the sound quality better because the sound quality, you know, is okay. They gave it a C at best. Um, my friend gave it higher, but he said it still sound like you're on a, um, a speaker call, speaker phone. And my daughter said the same thing. And then when I talked to my other friend when I was in 7-Eleven, he said the same thing. He said, I could hear everybody around you, but he said, I can still hear you. So it's not like it's, it's, it's like isolating your voice. It's not going to do that. So I don't, you know, so I would give the design and the finish a two. Um, music, i give it a three. Um, now, when you turn it up, depending if the song has a lot of bass to it, 
you're going to get some distortion. It all depends on how much bass, how high the highs are, and all that. You're going to get some distortion when you turn up to max level. And sometimes, depending on where you're at, because you can hear everything. So you might need to turn up so you can hear what you're saying, because again, he don't have that, you know, that seal that when you put in your ear. But I give the the music, listen to music, I give it a three. Um, if you hit midway, if you hit the um, don't turn up too too loud, or you don't have a heavy bass song, you're not gonna hear too much distortion. If um, you keep it about half, once you start going up, it, distortion gets gets you can hear the distortion in it. And again, I hate when they say quality sound. No, it's not not for no thirty nine ninety nine. You'll get quality sound. Um, so I give that a three. I give the music, listen to music. The three was good. It was pleasant. It wasn't bad. It wasn't all that good. It was fair to Midland. Um, the app, I give it a two. The app, I don't even like the app. Um, you have to log and give it your information. And I don't trust the app. And I'm, I'm going to delete the app and just use it the way it is. I don't need the screen, so I don't need it, you know, you know, you know, syncing up with the screen or anything like that. So I give the app a two. Um, I give a call quality, like I said, a C, fair to Midland, call quality. Um, and price, I give it a five. For the price, I can ex excuse um, a lot of other things because when you're looking at $39.99, $29.99, guys, it, it's, you know, very rarely do you get something that's going to be able to deal with mid-range you know, budget range, deal with mid range. It's not, you know, it's, it's not going to happen. So normally that's a rare fine, but for the price, I give the price of five because for price thirty nine nine nine, this is absolutely worth between twenty nine 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 and thirty nine nine nine. Now, one thing I can say, if you're in the gym, you're going to love these. These are light, comfortable. You'll be able to hear the music. You've been turning up enough that while you're working out, it's going to kind of drown out everybody else. Not really because it don't have noise cancellation, but you know, in the gym, I think it would be well. I was I was walking around, you know, in Seven Eleven. I it didn't, you know, I kept it on for a while today, and I did not get ear fatigue. Normally, when I put in some earbuds, you start getting the ear fatigue right here, and then sometimes I call it ear sweat. Your 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 ears start sweating, and and then it'll start falling out. I didn't have none of that with this, so um, I give the price of five. Um, what I would say, guys, I would say. These are good if you just need something in the gym. If you just have a, a, an inversion or a problem with putting, you know, things in your ear and you just need a cheap pair, this would do. Um, the sound is going to be okay. I wouldn't use the app. The fit is going to be wonderful. To me, the design is okay, but they missed the mark with this big, big, you know, case, which now you have to worry about. Another thing you have to worry about is scratching the screen. You put this in your book bag, your keys hit it, you put it in your purse, it's going to scratch up all this, you know, so I wouldn't have done that. But again, they're trying to get you to buy it. Overall, guys, I'm going to give it a C. Maybe a C minus. It's a, a fair to Midland buy if you just need something. If you just need an open ear, if you just want to try um, open ear out for the first time, $29 or the $39 ones. I wouldn't spend no more on that until you until you figure out if you're going to like them, if you if you, if you you like the way it sits on your ear and things. I think my wife would love something like this because, uh, you know, her ear canals are kind of small, so anything that she put in, they fall out, you know, so something like this, she probably would love some. I'm going to give it, let her try it out and see if she like it. But guys, I'm going to give it a C. I think the screen is, a uh, is, a uh, is, is, is way too late. We should do something like down the dumb phone or we have a, uh, a flip phone or something that you can control everything through answer calls and stuff like that. But it's redundant because you do everything on your phone anyway. So again, it's better than I thought, but not as good as everybody was like, oh, this is, you know, you no, 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 don't do that, guys. Don't do that again. So I'm going to put this in the, in the, um, in the description, you know, if you want to get a pair, look at some other pairs, um, some other, you know, ones from other companies, you know, you can, if you like to open ear design. So guys, do me a favor before we log out, please like, share, 
and subscribe. Again, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank my new current, current, and new subscribers for still rocking with your boy yet again. This is your boy, the Ghetto Oxford, aka Pastor Chad, thanking you for rocking out with me on another unboxing journey, guys. Um, we got some more unboxings coming soon, so please hit the notification, the notification, the notif notification bell, the icon bell, so you can be notified. Notify anytime we drop a brand new video. You have a good day, guys. Peace.